Welcome back to Broken Sword 5. I was sure the inspector hadn't seen me slip away. But I needed to be quick because it wouldn't take him long. And we're investigating the crane scene. We managed to get into the back with the help of Nico. We've managed to get into the back lock. The sofa had clearly taken some punishment over the years. I'll just look around. It looked like Henri had saved the best booze for the back room. Hmm. What's a junk, really? I didn't imagine Henri as a musician. A pair of evil eyes stared from a partially covered poster. Best course of action is to click a ring in case we find something. It was a hookah pipe. Those things gave me a headache. Henri sure liked this clutter. It was a pretty flamboyant looking clock. <coughs> the CCTV system was ancient. It took individual shots and recorded them to tape. It looked like I needed to enter a passcode to view the recording. Hmm. I needed to find a four digit number. What a four digit code required to. I'll find a code the telephone somewhere. was an antique rotary model. The handset looked greasy. It was hard to tell if the lava lamp was retro or just plain old. Henri sure had his quirks. <laughs> let's stay let's stay at the statue. The statue was jaunty. Up close and personal, I could see that the fig leaf was hinged. Oh wow! Thankfully, there was no one around to see me do this. <laughs> wow! Very oh, okay. interesting. What's in there? I wasn't going to open the safe without the key. Mm, that's a I was safe fairly box. sure that even Henri wouldn't be silly enough to keep it hidden in the office. Yeah, yeah, key to get in here. Mm. The, secret the secret compartment was open. There was no, there was no need to manhandle. <laughs> well, hopefully the key code's not in there. The street was quiet. Because I need to find somewhere where I can. Um, a ring. Henri had a model of a VW camper van painted in hippie colors. The engine capacity was displayed on the back, 1600 cc. The trinkets, the junk, the instruments... Henri was kind of a hippie at heart. Hmm. It's in the desk itself. Um. I didn't like the idea of a pocket full of sharp pins. I didn't need a business card. Okay. Um. The pen could have been useful. Then again, it might have leaked all over my pocket. The lighter was corroded and grimy. It would probably never work again. I decided to leave it. I didn't feel the need to take Henri's eraser. It's a pile of stuff on this table. I didn't want to carry the tape around. I had a feeling I wasn't going to need it. It's a pile of stuff that just... It was the paper that Nico wrote for. Nico lived for the day her story would be on the front cover. Plain useless. Um... Well, um... Carrying an ink pot around inside my pocket would have been stupid. <laughs> the ink would have stained my hands for days. Mmm, interesting. There was nothing else in the drawer. The folder was interesting. This was very definitely tampering with evidence. It was a completion of work notice from a company called Vera Security. They weren't the guys we'd recommended. Henri had gone behind our backs to choose a different security outfit. Huh. Very interesting. I'd never heard of Vera Security, but there was an address and phone number on the form. Right, so Vera, Vera Security. I had no reason to search the desk. Again. Apparently there's nothing else on the desk. I had no hmm. So the code must be somewhere else. It's got to be in here. The calendar looked like a child's school project. 
Omri had ringed. The poor guy hadn't quite made it to his big day. Um. In the trash can, I found a crumpled letter from Omri's credit card company, demanding immediate payment. It listed extravagant purchases from a variety of ladies' fashion stores. The address indicated that Henri lived in the chic and expensive 16th arrondissement of Paris. I decided to put the letter back. Henri's financial problems weren't my business. But now I knew where he lived. Uh, get his address now. <clears throat> what have we got here? Is that saying at the back? It says 1975. Hmm. There's no other clues in here really with numbers on it. Set of digits. I'm going to solve this problem. I'm going to have to work it out. I can't access this room, so it has to be in here. I knew it would be wrong to leave the room without checking it thoroughly. Yeah. <clears throat> Could be here a while. <laughs> I'm trying to figure this one out. Henri's notice board was covered with all kinds of junk. It didn't look like there was anything important on the board. Nothing important on the notice board. So there's nothing on the notice board either, so. Oh, problems, problems. Um, that was never going to happen. No. Nah. Um, try holding beer up. I might give me the codes. Hello, George Stobart here, Paris Mutual. Never heard of you. Really? Well, I'm surprised. I mean, we're leaders in our field in commercial insurance, and our brand recognition is. Do me a favor. Don't call back. The lady hung up. I was going to have to visit in person. Mm. <laughs> she was not useful at all, so. Uh, <clears throat> It would have been stupid to phone. <laughs> Besides, I really didn't want to attract any attention. Okay. All right. Omri had ringed 27th of May and scrawled birthday. 27th of May. User joined your channel. User joined your channel. Is it that simple? What? Oh wow! Bing. So I skimmed I over that earlier, and um, after some sitting thinking about it, this was the first interesting frame. It was Henri studying yeah, on the birthday. He couldn't have had any idea what was right about on to happen. The calendar. Hmm. Was Henri studying that picture, or did he look worried? There was definitely more to this robbery than I first thought. The image was a little fuzzy, but in the center of the painting was what looked like a snake eating its own tail. I thought about what the priest said. There was definitely something unsettling about the picture. Hmm. Right. Okay, thank you. Next room. Nico and I were taking a look at La Maledixio just before the robbery. Funny, painting didn't strike me as remarkable at the time, just odd. It seemed that whenever Nico stepped back into my life, so did trouble. There I was looking at the exhibition. <laughs> the most striking aspect of the painting was a snake eating its own tail. A good view of La Maledixio. I can kind of see why Father Simeon thought it was evil. There was a certain presence about it. The killer caught in the act. 
There was nothing really distinctive about him. Uh, sky. The CCTV had caught the killer in the act of lifting La Maledic seal from the wall. He knew exactly which painting to take. It's a guy with a helmet on, really. Can't really see anything. The moment it all went horribly wrong. Why had Norley no backed down when the thief pulled the gun? If that was me, I'd have done whatever the guy wanted. Yeah. There was some writing on the front of his helmet, but I couldn't quite get it. It's strange why Henri did stood up to the guy. The writing was just a blur. Hmm. The most striking aspect of the paint. It's a very, very. That's a strange comment to say the least. The killer making his getaway. A logo on the front of his helmet. Yeah, you can see that. The brand on the helmet. That could be useful. The alarm should have sounded when the killer took the painting, but it had been sabotaged. I wondered who could have done that. Maybe Lane, or even Ozzy himself. Or perhaps even Vera Security, who had installed the system. Definitely if the plot thickens, it certainly does. There I was, taking a look at the alarm box. Hopefully I didn't... <laughs> About that when I was taking a look at the camera. Hmm, that my best angle. <laughs> that was the last shot. I probably learned everything I could from the CCTV. Well, oh, so Waterloo Motors uh, is the uh, sign on his helmet, so that'll be something I'll have to tell now. Oh, <laughs> Navi. Monsieur. So, you have snuck in here, and now you are tampering with my evidence. Um... Tell the truth. I wasn't tampering with anything, I was just looking for clues. That is my job, Monsieur... Monsieur... Stobart. George Stobart. Paris Mutual. We insured the exhibition. Oh, really? So, you have plenty to gain from the robbery. Well, uh, no. We have plenty to lose from the robbery. Don't patronize me, monsieur. Only a fool wouldn't know how insurance works. Yeah, no flies on you, inspector. Exactly. I have to get up very early in the morning, which means I can be sure to catch the worm. <laughs> so I see. May I remind you, monsieur, that a serious crime has been committed. I am going to have to ask you to return to the gallery. Of course, but I do need to ask you a few questions. D'accord, but remember, anything you say can be used against you, monsieur Stobart. <laughs> okay, I'll bear that in mind. Okay, okay. Tell do you know anything about a company called Vera Security? No, I have never heard of them. Now, I must get on with my investigation. It's very likely that the security camera holds a clue to the killer's identity. Monsieur, I am a professional, and you are an amateur. So, leave the investigating to me, huh, pal? Monsieur, you are American, no? Yeah, California born and bred. Of course. I think perhaps you are wanting to be like that Starsky and Butch, monsieur. <laughs> Rolling around on top of fast cars with beautiful ladies, firing your gun. Interesting idea, Inspector, but not yeah. really my style. <laughs> Indeed. Well, let me tell you something, monsieur. You are my prime suspect. You may go now, but I will need to speak with you again. Uh, I had some valuable leads, but before following up on them, I had important business to attend to. Hey, Nico, you want to grab a quick cup of coffee? Sure. <laughs> I 
I am pleased to announce that I have finished my preliminary investigation. This is now an official crime scene, and you must all go. I shall be questioning all of you again in the coming days. Nobody is to leave the country, particularly you, Monsieur Stobart. Monsieur Leng will stay behind to help secure the premises. Mo? Yes, Inspector. Let them out. Right away, sir. Oh, I said I fetched before in that one. Two coffees, please. <laughs> nice work in there, Nico. Whatever you did, it worked. I just made a tiny distraction, and Nave bought it. I think Nave would buy anything if it had blood on it. You know, this whole setup, the theft, the murder, it just doesn't make sense. What do you mean? Like I said, I think it was an inside job. Go on. Someone disabled the alarm, but on just one painting. Let me guess. La Maledicio. Exactly. And I aim to find out who did it. The CCTV picked up an image of the thief. His helmet had the words Waterloo Motors written across it. Interesting. I think I got a couple of good shots of him, too. But I need to take a better look at them at home. Great. Let me know what you find. Yeah. Now look at this little grass later. Okay. Well, the priest thinks La Maledicio is evil. Charles, sure, she's just crazy. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. But there's something strange going on. My I found the address of the security company Henri employed. It was not the one that I recommended. Good luck with your investigations. Well, I guess I should go. This story won't write itself. And Josh? Yeah? It's good to see you again. Hey. Great to see you too, Nico. I watched her walk away. The sound of traffic, the sun shining, a crime to solve. And Nico, back in my life. This is our day at the office. Join us next time for more a broken sword, more mystery, intrigue, and drama.